All right, guys, so last night I stopped about 10 o'clock. Last night. That's only five hours ago. Um, it was 35, minute, 35 miles, 41 minutes, 283 watt hours per mile. Did I capture this before? I don't remember. Anyway, whatever. Um, I, I went by this rest stop and it said it was closed for cars, oh, it's just for trucks. Well, I need some place to stop, so I stopped anyway. Actually, there's one on the other side. I went, I drove by this one, went to the one on the other side. It also said the same thing, and I, I was really tired, so I just like, nah, I'm just going to stop anyway. And when I pulled in, there was a couple of cars parked here, so I said, well, if they're parked here, I can park here. All right. So there's that. Um, FS, FSD wise, nothing to say FSD wise. I mean, FSD has been its usual somewhat flaky self, but at least it's working, you know. And my car is up to date as of this morning, so nothing special has happened. I think 10 days have come and gone. But whatever. Peace and army. That's, uh, that's, that's it for this, this update. Alright, so I just put in my, put in home and uh, let FST figure out, or Tesla figure out what the navigation should be. Um, yeah, and some of these uh, I've already been to, but okay, whatever it is. Well, I don't know which I don't know which flag staff that is. Uh, I think there's three of them. Okay, whatever. Peace and army. It's time to get going, um, and I'll be. Uh, I mean, if I stick with it, I'll be there tonight. Onward, upward, charge. All right, uh, 23 miles, 28 minutes, 321 watt hours per mile. The, the preconditioning has gone off, so I guess he's satisfied, which means I should get it plugged in pretty quickly, right? Seven kilowatt hours. Uh, yeah, this is the version two, but there's only one other car plugged in, so at least I don't have much in the way of competition. All right, let's get this going. All right, so well, I sit here and wait for uh, we're at 100 kilowatts, but it's, it is a version two. Um, let's talk about FSD a little bit, shall we? So at the rest stop I was at, there were no lights. It was dark. Um, I guess that's why it's okay for trucks, but not okay for cars. I'm pretty sure it's about restroom. Um, so. FSD will report left fender cameras blocked. Okay. You do realize that's the camera that provides the image when I do a left turn, right? Do you software engineers at Tesla, do you realize that? I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's a common thing to make an assumption about how things work without being fully aware of how things work, so to speak. <laughs> that sounds like gobbledygook, right? But that's the only thing I can think of is because the image is coming onto my screen from the camera. So the camera's working. So the only thing, other possibility is Assuming that we share the same connector, it's the way you set up your software. And your software says, oh, I don't see anything, so it must not be working. Well, could it be the reason why you don't see anything is because it's dark. It's oh, dark 30. Right? Well, actually, it's three dark 30, but whatever. 
that's what I'm wondering is, is, is that what your personal problem is? And so when I first started driving, the autopilot wheel was not available. I mean, at first, okay, I get it. Uh, you don't really know where we are surface wise, but once we're out on I-40, we're on the interstate. Finally, a semi went by. When the semi went by, then the autopilot wheel kicked on. Seriously? Okay. At least it kicked on eventually. Because I was thinking, I'm not sure I want to drive home without FSD on. Yes, I've gotten kind of used to FSD. All right, the other one is, and it's a rant you guys hear all the time. Not the Tesla guys, they obviously don't hear it. But they have no clue, obviously. All right, so when you're driving in the dark, and FSD goes, oh, I'm scared, oh, I don't know what's going on around me. He throws up, FSD may be degraded. Okay, cool. You throw it up, you you ding once, or whatever you want to call that little alarm thing. All right, I'm okay with that. You're telling me it may be degraded. But somebody in Tesla figured the best thing to do is to const... Okay, it's not constantly, but to throw it up every few minutes. So the human driver who's supposed to be monitoring FSD and watching for traffic, right? Right, Elon? We're supposed to be safe drivers? Yeah. Instead of bit, instead of paying attention to the traffic around me, I'm over here swiping left. Why? And after I swipe left, a few minutes later, you'll pop it back up again. Are you trying to teach me how to swipe left? Or are you trying to teach me to ignore what you have to say. No, I'm not going to give you a third choice. A human factors engineer would understand this statement. If only you had a human factors engineer on your team. That's okay. I get it. It's easy to say you're about safety, but when it comes time to actually prove you're about safety is another subject okay whatever peace and harmony yes i'm gonna be here for a while for a while anyway oh and um the other fsd thing was as we're going around wherever it was we're going around i don't even know where we are we're in flagstaff okay i know i'm in flagstaff uh i'm almost right next to the University of North Grand Canyon or something? I don't know. Flagstaff branch, obviously, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we come out or we come out a, a entrance and apparently we have to cut across three lanes to get to the exit to get to the supercharger. Uh, who laid out that plan? That's kind of dumb. Whatever. Peace and harmony. You're, you're doing the best you can. Right? Alright. It's just, sometimes it's so weird. Onward, upward, charge. Alright, so as we're going along, um, I, I'm looking at it like, he wants to make Gallup, New Mexico. He says that's three hours away. And so he's he's struggling on a version two, charging up enough to make it there. So last night when I was playing with it, Gallup, uh, not Gallup, what is it? Holbrook. Holbrook was in the mix. Holbrook is within range. 
So if I unplug now and go, I can make Holbrook. It'll only be about an hour 20. And then I can make the rest of the way to Gallup after another charge. I mean, it just seems like it'll work better that way. Onward, upward. All right, I guess this is what I was looking for last night and just couldn't translate the English to English. I don't know. Um, it's Meteor Crater Rest Area. And for some reason, I was getting Meteor Crater uh, Attraction, whatever you want to call it. All right, 42 miles, 38 minutes. What, and 195 watt hours per mile? It says 195. How is that even possible? I mean, granted, I mean, the outside temperature is 65 and my air conditioner set to 69, so they're not running much air conditioning, but I'm running down the road at 75 miles an hour. Oh, whatever piece of the army. Let's live with it. Okay, time for a quick break. Yes, I like the positivity of the sun coming up in the morning. It's really nice. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Holbrook, uh, New Mexico. Arizona. Sorry. Holbrook, New Arizona. 53 miles, 47 minutes, 293 mile, watt hours per mile. That is since that rest stop, right? Since last charge is 94 miles. 24 kilowatts. Wow. It's still holding on. So, for some reason, the, the fir very first part was very efficient. Under 200. But now I'm now I'm back up to, we are driving 75 in the 75 zone. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. Um, the only other thing to say about FSD at, at the moment, anyway, is, and it's a repeat, actually, is for some reason, he's not one to... to shift lanes when he's coming up on a semi or even a car so it's up to the human driver to initiate the lane change i, I don't know why it's just and, and that that's not normal but for some reason with this car that's the way it is okay let's get plugged in all right guys welcome to gallup new mexico 89 miles one hour 13 minutes 309, 309 watt hours per mile. Blah. Okay, sorry. Um, let's get after it. Okay, time for a little break. Um, yeah, I'm getting sleepy. I'll be okay. Anyway, 87 miles, 1 hour, 19 minutes. Average energy of 211 watt hours per mile. So, most of this segment has been I'm not tailgating, but I'm following a semi who's, who's going about the same speed I'm going, or I, I was. So, um, just enough draft to pull me along. Yeah, pretty good. But I had to stop, so uh, that's gone, right? Oh, <laughs> what, whatever. Okay, guys, welcome to Albuquerque. Um, some shopping center? It's, that's a big thing. Um, 62 miles, an hour and nine, and 205 watt hours per mile. I've been keeping it down to uh, 69. So there you go. And no, I haven't had, uh, well, actually, there was, I was driving, I was light drafting a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, that part's all good. So I've been getting occasional, uh, uh, what do you call those braking, phantom brakings? I thought it was the sun hitting the the forward camera, but even what even at eleven o'clock, it's still doing it. The other possibility is maybe he just doesn't like what I'm doing with my eyes at that particular moment, so he does. Whoop! I don't know. Either way, come on. Anyway, otherwise it's all good. Well, Auto Park definitely killed that little box. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, 
it wasn't much, was it? All right, so time for a little break. Um, since I didn't take a break back there when I charged, but let's take it here. All right, 45 miles, 44 minutes, 284 watt hours per mile. And yes, that basically means I'm doing 70, 71, um, just a mile or two higher. But that's okay. I, I've, I've been looking at the planned trip and the fact that he wants to go from Santa Rosa, New Mexico to Post, Texas has me wondering. Okay, we'll see when we get there. All right, guys, welcome to Santa Rosa, New Mexico. Um, 70 miles, one hour and four minutes, 183 watt hours per mile. Wow, uh, we are going slightly downhill, that's true. But wow. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm keeping it down to 69 miles an hour, even though we're in a 75 zone. Okay, let's get this thing going. All right, so that little move, just so I don't have to compete with this other guy who came in next to me, I added 20 kilowatt kilowatts of charging speed. Right? He could have had that by himself, but he didn't want it, so okay. That's life. All right, so I made a command decision. I think we're, I was up to like 12% arrival in post, okay? Why am I gonna be pushing? I have to drive like 55 miles an hour to make that, that distance and that energy, okay? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna swing to Amarillo first and work down from there. And that'll be better for me. I'm sure I'm going to have to adjust one or two charging schedules, but we'll see as we go along. Onward up. All right, welcome to Amarillo. 163 miles, 2 hours, 19 minutes. Yeah, I'm feeling every bit of that. 267 watt hours per mile. And yes, I've been doing the 70, 75. So there we go. All right, guys, 77 miles, 1 hour and 17 minutes. Average energy is 258 watt hours per mile? Seriously. Okay. Um, of course, we just came through a fairly heavy rainstorm, so I spent a lot of time at, at uh, 60. That's what that, So that's that. Um, with that in mind, let's, let's get... Play. Oh, so this place is... Why can I never find the name when I need it? Tootin' and Totem. Okay? For some reason, they're talking about McDonald's, which is actually on the other side of the interstate. But anyway. Okie dokie. So, I found a place... Oh, it's Plainview, isn't it? Uh, it's a little, uh, 21 miles south of Plainview, actually. So, uh, anyway. 21 miles, 22 minutes, 258 watt-hours per mile. Did I, did I already say that? I don't know. Um, today's trip... <laughs> 732 miles, uh, 184 kilowatt hours, and I averaged 251 watt hours per mile. Wow. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm driving along, and, and uh, the idea that to go to Sweetwater, I think it is, and go to a rest area down there, it's, it's over two hours away. Um, I finally just gave in and said, you know what? So I saw this rust area. I mean, I couldn't, I didn't find it when I searched, but maybe I didn't search well. But when I saw it was here and saw that it was a regular rust area, I decided, okay, it's, it's time to call it a day. Okay, so there it is. Um... Uh, FST is always a mixed bag, you know? It, it's so good, and yet it can be so annoying. And at times, like, what are you doing? Um, I, I, I personally just don't get it. Let's see. Yeah, my software is up to date. Uh, 
as of uh, this oh this morning yeah I checked it at 3 a 3 22 a.m. yes okay so that, that gives you an idea how long I've been driving uh, I would have started driving before 4 o'clock actually so there it is there is that so I mean the the whole thing with the FSD may be degraded when it's raining the only good news about the FSD message when it was raining was it didn't have to uh, refresh every couple of minutes or three minutes, whatever it is. FSD in the dark has to refresh and refresh and refresh. Um, it's just so tedious. And the stupid thing is you, you want to go down here and swipe to the left to minimize it and acknowledge that you saw the message but then he'll come back and refresh it again and so it makes me wonder is the point to get me used to swiping left on and put messages regardless of what it is because that's all I'm doing I assume it's the FSC message swipe don't even look don't even read okay so occasionally I may take a glance Okay? But I'm driving. So, one thing is, uh, you have to focus down here to swipe it. Otherwise, you might swipe your car or whatever. Um, the other thing is, because I'm looking down here, I'm not looking up here. Which is actually a more critical thing. So, it just makes me wonder, who, who in Tesla came up with this idea that, well, it's really cool if we, we keep refreshing it and keep pestering the driver. No, that's stupid. Okay, whatever. Peace and army. Um, um, I'll try not to complain about it too much. Um, yes, and today we had some phantom brakes. Now, the best I can guess... I mean, sometimes there were there were some weird patterns in the in the street. I'll give you that. But sometimes, I think the only thing is maybe I was looking down for for a split second, and that was enough to trigger a a phantom brake attack. It sure feel it sure looks and feels that way. I mean, it's not one of those things like, but you're supposed to be about safety. And this doesn't feel safe. Okay, whatever. Peace and army. There it is. Um, oh, I guess I need to brush my teeth. All right, so I'll leave you with that. And so we've already looked at the trips. Um, I've already, already done comparison to a Yukon, so there's no need to do another Yukon comparison. Um, you, you already know Yukon is not. There's nowhere near competing. Right? Even, even with supercharging. Really? No, let, let's save that for another time. I don't want to do another ice comparison right now. Besides, I'll be home tomorrow after, uh, tomorrow morning, actually. So, um, let me recover some, and then we'll then we'll go forward and try to figure out what to do next. I mean, after I finish editing and putting together a bunch of videos. <laughs> I mean, it's been actually a pretty good trip. So, all right. With that, good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Wow. That's something else, isn't it? Sunset combined with the rain clouds, or the pre-rain clouds, whatever it is. Plus, I think that's dust. But stunning, it's beautiful, right? Really, really nice.